you for having me. Uh, thank you so much, NWPC Virginia, for your support um, of my campaign and for your endorsement. Um, again, my name is Ray Cousins. I am running for the House of Delegates to represent the newly redrawn 79th District which is located in Richmond. Um, I am a fourth generation Richmonder. I'm also a working mom. I have an almost two year old um, who is just finding her voice. So <laughs> a lot of screaming these days. Um, and I'm also an attorney. Uh, my desire to run is run for office is rooted in my upbringing. Um, I come from a very long line of domestic workers, nurses, educators, postal workers, factory workers, and carpenters. Um, just everyday working people who lived and worked here in the city of Richmond for the last 100 years. Um, I am very passionate about Richmond and Virginia. I cannot think of a better place to raise my daughter. And so I am running to uplift working families, everyday working people like mine, and to ensure a better Virginia for my daughter and for all kids. Um, when I think about the examples of strong women that I've had in my life growing up, my grandmother worked as a nurse at a local hospital here. She also completed her GED, which was a dream of hers um, at the age of, she was in her 50s when she did that. Uh, a couple of my aunts worked at local factories here. Another faction of my aunts worked at the telephone company, <laughs> which I know to this day, I still don't know what telephone company it was, but they worked at the telephone company. Um, so I just saw, you know, strong examples of women just, you know, working really hard and also providing for their families. And so I certainly understand that we are not only the backbone of our households, but the backbone of our economy as well. Um, my childhood um, experience was one of public service, civil rights, and social justice. So my mother is a retired Richmond public school teacher. She taught for 35 years at an elementary school here. Uh, my father, was also, he had a long career in workforce development and did some affordable housing advocacy work here in Richmond back in the 80s and 90s. Um, and I just remember very lively, passionate discussions about civil rights and social justice as I was growing up. And that's what inspired me to become an attorney. Um, so I completed my law school studies at Howard University School of Law. It was very important for me um, to attend Howard and I chose that school because of its commitment to social justice, civil rights, um, and, and graduating and producing social engineers for change. I moved back home um, after I completed law school, knowing that I wanted to make a difference in my community. And so in my day job, I ensure that people who are harmed by pharmaceutical drugs, environmental disasters, um, and also medical devices get the compensation that they need to rebuild their lives. Um, I also have volunteered for a few community organizations here in the city that serve underserved populations and provide resources, particularly in childhood education and the arts. Um, in my pro bono work, I have represented a number of tenants who were facing eviction, like a lot of our families um, here in Richmond and across Virginia are facing. One in particular, a single mother who was a neighbor of mine and had to make a decision about whether to pay her exorbitant light bill or her rent, and she decided to pay her light bill because she had a small child. Um, and that is a decision that too many of our families here face. I got my start in politics, volunteering for President Obama's campaign, um, doing voter registration and voter protection work. And that, and also restoration of rights uh, for individuals returning from incarceration. And I became very passionate about that work. And uh, most recently was responsible for voter registration and voter protection for the Richmond City Democratic Committee. Um, when I think about, you know, a better Richmond, I sort of have always imagined what a better Richmond or a better Virginia is. And um, it's, you know, it's a place where every child has access to a good quality education, where teachers get the compensation that they deserve for the jobs that they do, where everyone has access to a living wage, to paid family and medical leave, um, where every community has access to equitable and affordable health care, fresh, affordable, healthy foods, 
urban green space and tree canopy, um, which is an issue across the Commonwealth. And also where our streets, our churches, our mosques, our synagogues, our schools are free from gun violence. Um, a better Virginia is also a place where my daughter can grow up knowing the full history of the United States of America and not just some whitewashed version of it, where our voting rights are protected and not suppressed. It's a place where everyone can love freely and identify as who they are. And it's also a place where our reproductive and contraceptive freedoms are protected. Abortion rights are under attack across the nation, particularly in the South. It is imperative that we fight to protect the right to a safe legal abortion here in Virginia. I have never backed down from an opponent, no matter how powerful or well-funded, and that is the energy that I will take to the House of Delegates. Thank you again for having me tonight. I really appreciate this opportunity.